from City of Belfast Plainfields, Molusk Newton Abbey. And what we're here to talk about today is the Illegal Asylum Hotel here just off the Antrim Line. And I heard today that the newly elected Stormer Labour government has decided to scrap the Rwanda deportation plan which doesn't come as a great shock because it would seem that the Labour government are actually the friend of the illegal asylum seeker but uh, the next question I would ask is what happens next the chimney corner in front of us is now an illegal asylum hotel and has been for around two years and with no effective deportation plan what can the taxpayer expect over the next five years of the Labour government and I can tell you I'm not expecting anything done about this and really the taxpayer deserves better I would certainly think but you know I have heard political pundits on within Northern Ireland and I don't want to get into politics, I'm not a political person to be perfectly honest, but those political pundits are from the Alliance Party. And I heard one in particular on a radio show saying such things as the residents, or the current residents, of that asylum hotel should be allowed to work. Well I can tell you, um, taxpayers should not accept that. That is a line in the sand that we should never cross. because. If we let the residents of this hotel and other hotels work, it gives legitimacy to the illegality of them being here in the first instance. In other words, it makes it somewhat acceptable. And it's the first step to giving them an amnesty to live and reside within Northern Ireland. And that cannot be acceptable. Law breaking is law breaking wherever we find it. And instead of coming out and saying that they should be allowed to work, what they need to say is that they're here illegally and they need to be deported as soon as possible. But of course their liberal sensibilities kick in and nothing is said in regards to that matter. It's just let them work. Well no, they shouldn't be allowed to work. They should be sent back within seven days of them arriving to Northern Ireland shores illegally. And that can be by plane, boat or by donkey and cart, but they have to be removed. But no, um, I can't see them being removed. I can see them only remaining here within Northern Ireland. You know, um, with no effective deportation plan, the question does arise, what happens next? Um, Maybe you would like to leave your comments and tell me. Uh, this is an ongoing story. I'm not hearing anything out of the mouth of the political class. And I think it's about time we did. Um, tell me what you think. Um, as I always say, local stories of local interest for local people. So, I hope you enjoy this short video. And leave your comments. And I'll try and respond, if I can and uh, tell me what you think. See you on the next video.